How's everybody doing? Tinkering with Harleys. I want to thank all of you who have subscribed. I greatly appreciate it. And if you're watching these videos and enjoying, by all means, please subscribe. Uh, well, it's November 4th. And we've had an early winter storm here in Arizona, and it's gotten cold. <laughs> uh, we usually have pretty decent weather this time of the year. It usually doesn't get nasty like this till uh, mid-December and January. Uh, I got up this morning, it was 26 degrees out. So that's about 25 degrees below normal. So... Yeah, it's, it's just a bit, wee bit chilly. So, but that'll get us on to today's video um, after I finish complaining about the cold. And I know there's others of you out there that live in much, much colder climates than I do. So, we're in the middle of this trans rebuild and we're rebuilding everything. We've already rebuilt the, the main shaft. We put new bearings in the door. Uh, We've done rebuilt the main shaft and the counter shaft. We, we installed the new bearings in the door. And now we are going to remove and replace the inner bearings in the drive gear. Which is this right here. You've got two bearings in this. And they have to be removed and I'm going to show you how to remove them and I'm going to show you how to replace them. So, all that aside, let's get to doing the video. Okay, here is the drive gear and like I said, it has two bearings and it has one on the clutch side and one on the trans side right there. And the manual says remove them. Um, doesn't tell you how. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now these have got to be uh, knocked out. One has to be knocked out and the other one can be pressed out or you can knock both of them out. Um, now when you do this you can start it on a flat surface but then you have to get over to a, a solid surface so it hangs down because when this bearing starts to drop out, it, it, it's going to extend a little bit. So we put it in the vise. Now, if you notice here, there's a lip on the gear. When you put it in the vise or in the wood, you have to make sure that you're on the gear and not on this lip because it's steel but you don't want to damage it so the next thing we do is we get a punch and a hammer and you need a real hammer for this um, so we'll get started And you hit it on either side, being careful just to make sure you have the bearing face. And it's coming out. And I do it on all four sides. It's coming. It's almost out. You 
you want to make sure you catch that bearing yeah, it's coming out good now and it's out and there is the bearing we just knocked out and that's what it looks like inside now you take your finger in there and you roll your finger around make sure there's nothing no metal anything like that now we're going to take and we're going to clean this out but first we're going to remove this one and this one we're going to remove on the press so you can remove both of them this way the way i just removed that one but i'm going to take it over on the press and show you how to do it on the press okay so we got the the one out and the reason you can't press them both out is both bearings are the same size and you can't get a socket or a bit or anything in there to to knock them out so what you do is you take and get a 15 16 socket and stick it right down on there it'll hit on the shoulders of the bearing and then you put it in the press like that and then make sure that the hole is free and clear make sure it's lined up okay we got a little bit of pressure on it making sure everything is lined up looks pretty good double check it underneath that none of those it's only the gear face that's that's on there the lip is right here so you don't have to worry about that and we'll start to press it out there it goes and there's the second bearing okay so now we got both bearings out and what we're going to do is we're going to clean this up now i didn't show taking this bearing out of the or the drive gear out of the case i've shown that i think a couple of times on previous videos so i didn't figure there was any reason to show that so we're going to get this all cleaned up uh going to put some brake cleaner in it then blow it off and wipe it down and then we'll get back and we'll install the new bearings okay now we've got the the main drive gear all cleaned out inside and out uh, we use brake cleaner and an air hose checked inside and you check inside you run your your finger along there and your fingernail and see if you can catch any spots that'll get your nail and if there's none it's good now you'll feel a spot in there where the bearings are separated that's different it's not as smooth and that's that's normal that's the way it's supposed to be so now what we'll do we'll take some oil and we'll coat this in here with oil and we'll get the bearings installed so we put a nice coat of oil in there thin coat on both sides put it on there and 
and here is the bearing and you do the same thing with the bearing on the inside give it a nice coat of oil and a thin coat on the outside Now, when you install this, uh, you, you want to make sure you get oil in there, in the needle bearings. You don't want to run a dry bearing. Okay, now this is a tool we're going to use to insert this. Now, on the clutch side, this gets inserted to 300 and 15 thousandths and if you see here this tool has a little step on it which will insert it so what you do number side out always in other words it goes like that with the number side out slide the slide the bearing onto the tool Line the tool up. And now it's ready to be pressed in. And you can see it sliding in there nice and easy. When it bottoms out and it's bottomed out there the bearing is installed and you can see right there it's installed okay now we're going to install the fifth gear seal here is the fifth gear seal and you see that little ridge right there that's what's going to install the seal so you slip it over the tool it has been uh, the seal itself has been oiled and you slide it in there like that and now we press the fifth gear seal in Now, putting the fifth gear seal in this way is way, way easier than when it's on the bike. When it's on the bike, as you know, any of you who have ever done it, Sometimes this fifth gear seal is a real pain to get out. And it's a pain to get in too because you have to put it in with a punch. And just press it in there like that. And when it bottoms out, it's set.
and that's bottomed out. So that is set. So and there's the fifth gear seal. It's set at the proper depth. Now we just turn this over. And you do the same thing. You coat it with oil. Make sure the inside has a good coat of oil on it so you don't run a dry bearing. Number side facing out. Get the excess off of there. What's up, Muggs? What is it, buddy? What is it, Muggs? Okay, so now we're set to put that seal in. Or the bearing in, I'm sorry. Get it all lined up. Yeah, Muggs is talking to me. Muggs is my helper. Get the rag out of the way. Get this lined up. Just start to press that bearing in there. So now we've installed the both seals, or one seal and both bearings. So that's that's how you move remove the bearings and you replace the bearings and the fifth gear seal. Um, you do need that special tool or the equivalent thereof. Um, you don't have to do it the way I did it. This is the way I, I do it. Um, if you don't have a press, you can get a little creative and uh, do things like that. Um, I wouldn't recommend it, but I know not everybody has a press. So I hope this helps somebody, and I want to thank you all for watching, and until the next time, everybody be safe out there.